Hey everyone, um, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you guys? You know, I've been good. If you've asked, if you were asking, I'm good. Uh, I am, it's, what day is it today? I think it's November 30th. Um, I am on my way to my new location for work because I was, um, not permanent, I was just at this other location to shadow and like co teach over there. But now, I'm actually gonna have my own classroom and decorate it how I like and it's gonna be really cozy and warm and no sharp things there at all like nothing sharp because these kids might stab me um, other than that I'm excited how um like what's gonna be going on with you guys like is there anything new like tell me the tea this is what my back of my car looks like all these things from like donations to stuff from my other location at work and also at my home I have so much stuff that like, I don't know, and I'm not sure what the class will look like. Um, so I will give you guys a tour when I'm there. There is another coworker there, so I'm low-key like nervous of like, do I like video or do I like not video, you know? It's like, I like, I would like to video just cause like, I think that it's fun to go, the go through the entire process with you guys of what my life will look like in the future. Um, today I my boss said I can dress comfy so I'm wearing jeans today with like a cute cardigan and this like this what's it called this bodysuit um and then I'm wearing this jacket from Primark go get it get this jacket from Primark get this scarf from Primark um I love Primark Primark is just like a vibe if you don't get it you don't get it you know what I mean like I get it fast fashion <sighs> but at the end of the day we're all gonna die soon okay might as well just enjoy the things that make us happy. Um, but I know it's bad to support it because people from around the world make these clothes and they go through all this hard labor. So I understand. I, I try not to spend too much because I don't want to, like, I just don't. I also have a lot of hand-me-downs for my sister and my mom and it goes in a cycle. So either way, like, I have things to do. This past week, um, there was a beaver moon and that shit fucking fucked me up. I'll tell you that. I was so first of all, the police detective called me. And they called about a situation. Um about someone else. So that's all I'll say. I was really shocked because I was like, whoa, like that's out of the blue. Didn't know that was it like that was a thing, but good luck. Um and then also Yeah, I got punched a lot on Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday. Wednesday at work by this little kid. I know they're little kids, right? But I'm kidding. Like, kid you not. They're unmedicated, so that's why they start to go through these emotions. And it sucks because, like, I feel bad for them. But then again, it's like, I don't deserve to be punched. No one ever deserves to get hurt. And, like, I'm super patient and I'm really laid back and chill. So, like, I personally, I don't care. But then again, it's like, sometimes it just gets so over, like, it's just exhausting um, to deal with that. Hopefully this new location, um, kids won't really punch me, but who knows? Who knows how long I'll be here? Cause I don't know. It's, it's, it's for the experience and the challenge since I work at a therapeutic day school and I want to feel a challenge. I, oh my God. Why do these cars break out of nowhere, bro? Like they just break and they're like, whoa, like why are you doing that to me? We are going to build my classroom today. I am very excited. I really like a cozy, my, my style is a cozy vibe. So when they come into class, I want them to feel cozy and safe. Um, I want it to low key feel like my room where it's like aesthetic. I want it to feel aesthetic, but I don't think it will just because these kids will fucking throw everything, bro. They will throw shit and they will not give a fuck. So I need to just be safe about that. Let me, let me, let me vent out to you. When you adopt a dog, oh sorry, I'm not sure if my camera's here. If you adopt a dog, be committed to adopting a dog, okay? I'm not trying to be mad at you guys. I'm just saying in general, a PSA announcement, you should not adopt, adopt a dog if you don't want, if you don't know the long-term conditions. If you have family issues at home, don't fucking adopt a dog. If you have a baby, I don't suggest adopting a dog because when you have a newborn baby, your focus is all on your baby. So I wouldn't do that. Like, even though you think it's gonna be like a, ha like, oh my God, you're, they're gonna grow up together. No, bitch, they're not. Because clearly the dog needs attention too. And your baby needs attention. And it's really hard. I'm not, I don't have a baby myself, but like I do have babies because I have my children, AKA Baggins and Ginger. Um, yeah. So I just think that 
think hard and long about adopting a dog because it's a big commitment. It's a 10 to 15 year commitment. You're like literally, they're like kids. They're literally your kids. So think hard and well. Because I hate when dogs get returned to the shelter. It's so sad because then they, in the long run, they get trauma, bro. Like, who wouldn't get trauma by being returned? I would. I don't want to be fucking returned. That's my little um, TED talk of the morning. So sometimes, like, I have a fear. I'm gonna tell you my fear because it's, I think it could happen in the future. But basically, when you're driving and then you're behind, like, a truck or something or, like, a ladder or anything type of big truck that has stuff in the back and it's like a pickup truck and then like they hit a bump and then their stuff comes out and it hits you and kills you that's what I think I think that happens and I think that it's scary because you never know like you really never know the moon's still out that's cool do you guys anyways yeah do you guys get affected by the moon I do every full moon there is I think I already mentioned this before but I'm gonna mention it again every full moon I get depressed I get in my feels and things just like just don't turn out well usually i feel like it's a bad luck day for me or it's more of like a not good energy vibes where um something just isn't in my ever in my direction or like feel depressed sometimes like i'm not depressed but i'm depressed you know what i mean like i used to be actually depressed though back when i had my thyroid surgery like back in the day of 2019 to 2022 <laughs> 2021, 2020, actually early of 2022, I was fucking depressed, but it's because I feel like I had to lift off my shoulders after that so that I feel better, but yeah, I work with older people, um, I'll be honest, I'm gonna be spilling some tea right now because I don't give a fuck, but some of my co-workers who are older than me, I feel like don't take me serious because I'm young, um, very condescending to me. And the thing is, I'm very confident about my job, so I don't give a fuck. But then again, it's just like, why do you have to be so mean? Like, you're my mom's age, and my mom doesn't act that way. You know what I mean? It's just like, get with it, and don't be mean. Like, what's the point of being mean to someone and putting them down? Like, just, why can't anyone... First of all, let me, let me rant out. Why can't you just be nice? Why can't people just be nice? Like, actually... Like, it's not that hard. It's really not that hard to be nice to people. Like, it's hard to be mean. Personally, I can't be mean unless I have to be just a stern person. Uh, but being mean, that's just not in my vocab sometimes. Sometimes. Because sometimes there'll be people who are mean to me, so I have to be mean in the back, to be honest. Especially if they're disrespecting me. Or what I usually do, if they're being mean to me, I ignore them and I don't even look at them in the face. Like, especially some of my coworkers, I don't look at them. Like, I don't want to see your face. I don't really give a fuck. Um, do your job and stop talking, you know? Like, why are you keep talking while you should be doing your job and calling students and parents, you know? My dentist is actually low-key down there, which is really cool. Um, can't tell you the direction. Because <laughs> if I run over these kids, guys, game over. I'm in jail. I'm in jail. And, like, there's no money that's coming out of my pocket because I have no money Bro, I've been sick for, like, low-key two and a half weeks now. Like, my voice, okay, everyone has this, so I'm gonna fucking say it. Phlegm, right? Every time I cough, phlegm comes out. Of course, I'm gonna spit it out. I'm not gonna swallow it back in. Especially if it's, like, a big, fat-ass phlegm. I can't. Like, I don't know how people can just swallow it back. There will be some days where I will have to swallow it back, though. <laughs> because I'm at school, and, like, I'm, like, in the middle of talking to someone, and it just comes out. I was like, oh, fuck. So I can't, like, just go like this. Bleh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, this is a TMI, but do I care? I think everyone has this. Everyone goes to this reality check, okay? Toodaloos, I will see you soon. Oh my god, that rhymed! Toodaloo, I will see you soon in the school. Oh, Was that good? No, it wasn't good, but I'm gonna pretend it was good. This is the room that I like love. This door doesn't slam. At the other location, the door slammed so bad. Um, I love the yellow. Yellow is giving happy. I'm going a bit too fast, sorry guys. I'm just so excited. Super spacious. Um like what the let's do this. Like, hey class, welcome in. Today we're 
I can't even be serious. I'm be like, kids, sit down. Listen to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is the class. Um, I love it. I'm kind of liking this yellow. This area is kind of giving arts and crafts or the quiet corner, I feel like. Um, yeah, I think that would be like the book area plus quiet corner or something. I like this one because it feels much more, what's the word? Happy. There's a fridge in here too. But also there's no projector in here, so I'm not sure if this will be my room or the other room. The other room's big too, but it's just like, the window's open. At the other location, the windows don't open, so I feel like I'm dying without air. Like literally, I, I get sick, bro. Um, this is like a good, I'm like really excited. I need to go take a shit. Super exciting. Um, we are gonna clean first and then I'm gonna bring all the stuff in my car because there's so much shit to clean still. So I don't really wanna deal with that. I don't wanna put all my stuff in here and then have to move it around. So I'm gonna clean first, organize it, and then I'm going to get everything ready. I love it. This is such a vibe. Um, oh, let me put this back here. Okay, right. so exciting. Um, even though I'm gonna miss my coworkers at my other location, shout out. You know who you are. Love ya. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm not sure if this will be the classroom I'm in, to be honest with you. But this is really nice. I love it. I'm like vlogging and my boss is gonna come in soon. Bro, there's fucking spider webs. There's spider webs everywhere. Bro, I need to probably, I'll probably need to go to Target and buy fucking cleaning tools because they probably don't have shit for me here. I'm excited, guys. Like, this is gonna be my classroom and I'm gonna make it fucking warm and cozy. Every morning to have yellow brings happiness. The dark blue in the other room, it brings more. I'm mellow and chill. But this one's like, oh my god, every day is a good day, you know? So we'll see what happens. Later, I have to probably go back and do something. Don't know what it is, but I'll probably have to do it. I am on my way to go to Walmart to buy a broom because they don't have anything prepared there, bro. Hey, I'm in the Walmart. Um, looking through the cleaning supplies because you girls didn't get some cleaning stuff. Should I get for Breeze? I don't know. Like, I don't know because like, do the kids like get allergic? I don't fucking know. Bro, I like took a fart earlier and I don't know if my shit came out of my ass low key. TMI, right? Sorry. Um, but yeah, what should I get? Hmm. You know, you know I said I need to take a shit earlier? On the go poopery. I'm bringing this. I'm buying this. Should I? Wait, okay, like, what's the cheapest? What, how much do you guys spend on Clorox wipes? Because you usually know what I needed, which is the brooms. Um,. What kind of broom should I get? Like, what's the best broom out here, guys? Hmm. Is it the green one or the gray ones? Or the red one? It's a, it's a tough decision out here. Getting this broom. This should be good. Anything else? I bought a toaster because when I'm rushing to go to work, I'm gonna need a toaster to make myself food. That's for fucking sure. I think I sweeped most of the floor. Um, they're doing a deep cleaning next week, so I'm just gonna set up my classroom now, rearrange the furniture. But this is it. This is my class, guys. I'm actually really happy. <sighs> it's a sleigh. Hey, welcome, kids. What's this for me? Yeah, good job. This is nothing on there. <laughs> Um, it is currently 2.49, I leave by 3.15. I got a lot done in the classroom. Most of the things are in cabinets right now just cause there's Sunday school here. So meaning that like my stuff will get stolen. Duh. Um, right now I bought my Apple laptop with me cause I'm doing an adoption thing. I have to get paperwork done. And you know your girl procrastinates. Um, so I think I'm the last one at work. 
It's kind of haunted low-key when you're the last one here. I feel like um, someone's gonna kill me. In my classroom now, guys. So I spread out the kids because they don't like to be by each other, usually. Library, games, and all that type of stuff. But I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get, they're ordering a rug for me. This corner will also be a quiet corner, but arts and crafts corner. Look at that, we have a fridge. I have my own fridge, guys. Slid the boots house down. Has all of my, I'm gonna hang my coat here. I'm eventually, I just need to get more organizational stuff. But all my stuff are here for now. I'm gonna flip it over so no one takes anything. Christmas lights, cause they're gonna go on the ceiling here. Um, My Parapro will be sitting right there. And then there's gonna be cute little um, winter vibes here. Anyways, um, that's it for now. I have no updates because I'm still in the process of doing my classroom. So once it's like fully done, you know I will show you guys. Um, but toodaloos. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, home scouts. <laughs>